Hi. Welcome to the recipes. Thanks to watch our video. Please click on subscribe for latest recipes. Makes 42 pieces. Matzo toffee has been around forever. Long before cooks emailed recipes to friends or posted them online, the candy made the rounds of Jewish communities. The recipe is made with almost identical ingredients, wherever you find it. Great Matzo Toffee uses high-quality chocolate, roasted unsalted almonds, and a sprinkle of sea salt. Line a large rimmed baking sheet with plain matzo sheets, top with buttery brown sugar toffee, and bake briefly so the toffee soaks into the matzo. Then let chocolate melt on top and sprinkle with chopped nuts and salt. The pieces are crunchy, nutty, sweet, and salty, loaded with homemade toffee and chocolate. Store in an airtight container with waxed paper or parchment between the layers. Canola oil, for the pan. 5 sheets plain matzo. 1 cup, 2 sticks, unsalted butter, cut up. 1 cup dark brown sugar. 12 ounces bittersweet chocolate, coarsely chopped. 3 fourths cup roasted unsalted almonds, coarsely chopped. Sea salt, for sprinkling. 1. Set the oven at 350 degrees. Brush a rimmed baking sheet, 11 by 16 inches, with a faint amount of oil. Line it with parchment paper, letting the paper come up the sides of the pan and pressing the paper into the oil so it stays in place. 2. Set the matzos on the sheet, cutting one into pieces to fill the empty spaces. The sheet should be completely covered in one layer. You will not need all of the fifth sheet. 3. In a saucepan over low heat, melt the butter just until it coats the bottom of the pan. Add the brown sugar and stir well with a heatproof rubber spatula. Turn the heat up to medium. Let the mixture come to a boil, stirring. The mixture will not look blended at this point. Let it bubble steadily for 2 minutes, or until it is blended and turns a dark caramel color. 4. Working quickly, pour the toffee mixture all over the matzos. Use the spatula to spread it evenly. 5. Transfer to the oven and bake the matzos for 12 minutes, or until the pan is bubbling all over. Remove the pan from the oven but leave the oven on. 6. Sprinkle the chocolate all over the toffee, setting the pieces so they sit flat. Return to the oven for 1 to 2 minutes, or until the chocolate melts. Use an offset metal spatula to spread the chocolate evenly over the toffee. Sprinkle the almonds all over the chocolate, then sprinkle sparingly with salt. Cool completely. 7. Slide the parchment with the matzo mixture on it onto a cutting board. Make 5 lengthwise cuts and 6 horizontal cuts to form 42 pieces. Some may crack at the edges. Eat the crumbs. Again thanks for watching our videos. Please do comment on our video. Please subscribe our channel. And share our videos on social media. Take care.